Hello, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV, and in today's video, we delve deep into the world of precision radiation therapy with the CyberKnife system. This groundbreaking technology is changing the landscape of cancer treatment as we know it. So what is CyberKnife? Adler Jr., MD, is the CEO of Zap Surgical Systems. Dr. Adler is world-renowned for inventing the CyberKnife and the related field of image-guided therapeutic radiation. The CyberKnife system is a non-invasive treatment for cancerous and non-cancerous tumors and other conditions where radiation therapy is indicated. It is used to treat conditions throughout the body, including the prostate, lung, brain, spine, head and neck, liver, pancreas, and kidney, and can be an alternative to surgery or for patients who have inoperable or surgically complex tumors. CyberKnife treatments are typically performed in one to five sessions. The CyberKnife system has more than two decades of clinical proof and has helped thousands of cancer patients. So how does a CyberKnife work? The CyberKnife system is the only radiation delivery system that features a linear accelerator, or LINAC, directly mounted on a robot to deliver the high-energy x-rays or photons used in radiation therapy. The robot moves and bends around the patient to deliver radiation doses from potentially thousands of unique beam angles, significantly expanding the possible positions to concentrate radiation to the tumor while minimizing dose to surrounding healthy tissue. This robotic delivery and real-time image guidance have set the standard for delivery precision and enable stereotactic radiosurgery, or SRS, and stereotactic body radiation therapy, or SBRT, treatments for the full range of tumor types. Let's look into the components of a CyberKnife. The major components of the CyberKnife are the 6-axis robotic manipulator, the robot workspace, fixed kilometers, robotic kilometer changer, treatment delivery system control console hardware, typical imaging system, x-ray generators, x-ray detectors, and combination software. First, let's understand the 6-axis robotic manipulator. The CyberKnife system utilizes a 6DOF robotic manipulator to position the LINAC in space and deliver a dose. The robotic manipulator is programmed to move in a fixed and predetermined workspace. The designed workspace accounts for the positions of objects in the treatment suite, including the treatment couch, the imaging sources and detectors, the floor and the ceiling, and eliminates collision hazards by creating suitable paths for the robotic manipulator to move in. Additionally, the workspace is comprised of pre-assigned points in space, termed nodes, where the manipulator is allowed to stop in order to deliver a radiation dose. At each node, the LINAC can deliver radiation from multiple beam angles. The second component is the robot workspace. The robot workspace also takes into consideration the position of the patient and is designed to avoid contact with the patient. This is achieved by the creation of a safety zone around the patient and the treatment couch. As shown in the representation above, the safety zone consists of two elements, fixed and dynamic. The fixed safety zone is rigidly attached to the imaging center, and thereby the part of the patient body being treated while the dynamic safety zone is designed to encompass the entire patient body and always lies within the fixed safety zone. The size of the dynamic safety zone is user-selectable based on individual patient sizes, small, medium, or large. The third component are fixed kilometers. The CyberKnife system is supplied with fixed secondary kilometers delivering circular field sizes of 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50 and 60 mm diameter at 800 mm SAD. These kilometers can be changed to vary the beam size as generated by the treatment plan. For each fixed kilometer, the manipulator traverses a separate path. The fourth component is the exchange robotic kilometer. Exchange robotic kilometer changer automatically changes kilometers before and during patient treatment. This eliminates the need to stop treatment and enter the room, minimizing patient's disturbance and possible need for adjustment to patient setup. The exchange system is compatible with all the fixed secondary kilometers provided by Accuray and the Iris Variable Aperture Kilometer. The fifth component is the Treatment Delivery System Control Console Hardware. The CyberKnife system employs KV X-ray imaging to provide target localization during treatment. 
The imaging system consists of two X-ray sources mounted to the ceiling and corresponding image detectors mounted in the floor. The X-ray sources are positioned such that the generated beams intersect orthogonally and create an imaging center located 92 centimeters or 36.22 inches from the floor. All treatments on the CyberKnife system are based around the imaging field of view. The live images are digitized and compared to images synthesized from the patient's CT data, Digitally Reconstructed Radiograph, or DRR. This technique allows for determination of intrafraction target shifts and automatic compensation by the treatment manipulator during treatment delivery. The sixth component is a typical imaging system. The imaging system, consisting of two KV X-ray sources and detectors, takes images of the patient throughout the treatment. The seventh component is the combination of software, which helps to focus on the therapy with image-guided precision. Let's look into the applications of a CyberKnife. The CyberKnife system is a non-invasive treatment for cancerous and non-cancerous tumors and other conditions where radiation therapy is indicated. It is used to treat conditions throughout the body, including the prostate, lung, brain, spine, head and neck, liver, pancreas, and kidney, and can be an alternative to surgery or for patients who have inoperable or surgically complex tumors. CyberKnife treatments are typically performed in one to five sessions. The CyberKnife system has more than two decades of clinical proof and has helped thousands of cancer patients. This was the simplified video on CyberKnife equipment. This device can also be stated as precise LINAC instrument, which focus on cancer treatment. To know more about LINAC, please check our LINAC explainer video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.